Salutations, my common folk, and welcome back to Spirit Tea. What a quaint little town we've arrived in. Now, without further ado, let's get to it. Last we left off, it was... Uh, Wanyan at the... Yep, go somewhere that has a lot of sweets. Okay, cool. Simple stuff. Uh, that's probably the little merchant shop. So, we're gonna hit up that place first and, you know, play about a year from there. Anywho. Well, hello! Any confectionery delights you got to sell me? No, nothing at all. Can I actually just take this? Or no? Oh. <laughs> uh, as you can see, the controls have not exactly stuck yet. Oh. Okay, that's just map stuff. We're getting there, we're getting there. Once muscle memory sets in, then it's pretty much a done deal. Uh, where's the... I think I would go here. Where am I at? I'm right there. Should I go up? Yeah. Up and right. Because that's a different building entirely. Ice creams are sweet. I can't just get that. I was about to say, I thought they were closed. Impossible! Alright, go ahead. And I'm gonna let you know now, I forgot everybody's voice. So, yay. Anywho, I like to play cards with Bruce on set, except for Wanyans. Wanyans and that first guy that I got introduced to when he helped me move that chair in my house. Not that chair, that desk. I like to play cards with Bruce on Saturday nights. He's such an uptight guy. So easy to tease. What What is the point of that? Whatever. Alright. Anywho. Uh, let's see. I can't even buy any sweets. Okay. Well, then. You know, I got my hopes up for nothing. Maybe upstairs? Or do I have to go in my house and go somewhere that has a lot of sweets? They didn't say buy any sweets. You see? Problem solving at its finest. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Although, at the same time, I'm concerned because I don't remember exactly what each shop entails. I just sort of followed the dog and eventually I tuned out half of the journey that we were going on. Coffee shop. Does the coffee shop have sweets? No? Am I, am I just stupid? I'm stupid. Oh, unless... Nope. Really now? Get this. Oh, I can see people just walk around. That's nice. Why, why are you... Where'd the owl come from? Okay, well, he probably came from over here. Still, though, it's pretty cool. How you doing? Nope, don't even want to talk to me. You just came in to get your coffee and go about your day? Look at that. Are they both going in there? Okay, just you. I remember that guy. I remember his. Only because I put, like, the most basic of voices on. This is just a random fish shop. Uh, I think I gotta run back home. That's the only logical explanation for me. At least for right now. Because maybe it's like, oh, hey, go home. You know, hit up your fridge. See, see a couple of delights in there. But sadly, it seems that I have nothing. It's yet to materialize itself. The chef's... Uh, wow. The shelves are filled with preservatives and dried foods. They give off a comforting, musty smell. Cool. Welcome to the cooking. I can't even begin to understand this. Items stored in your backpack. On the right side, you find all the recipes you discovered so far. Plus ingredients. Look at recipes or mess around with the cooking setup. Simply move the cursor to a given area and press A. Remove ingredient. Okay, well, that about covered. You can give cooked dishes to spirits. Well, can I cook? I don't care about the vegetable surfer. Oh, I didn't know I had that much face. Can I cook my two frogs that I caught? Uh, back out of that. Yep. Bake. Yep. There we go. It's time. I can fry myself some frogs. Well then. Did I actually do it? Wait. Oh, do I have to hit fry now? Or not? Oh, I gotta wait for it. It doesn't look appetizing, I tell you that much. I have not seen purple food in my life. Well, actually, no, I lied, I have. I've seen dragon fruit. And dear God, 
I don't know what's wrong with that thing, but it's atrocious. At least to me. I, I don't get why everybody else likes it. Like, oh, it is the it's a delight. I love it. I think I'm about to throw this away. What is that? Like, if you're gonna sit there and end up a bad meal for me frying it, at least you know have just a burnt color or something like it, not just a random. Uh, make it orange, not orange, cause that's <laughs> that's golden brown or orange. Uh, I would say. Like, no, oh, just make it red. Or or pink. Like, what? what why am... Every color I'm listing off so far has just been nothing but standard stuff you would find when frying. At least to some degree. Uh, I don't know where my thing went. Did, did it just leave me? It left me. Oh, no, it's on the ground. Can I even eat this? What, do I want to eat this? It's junk. Okay, well... I'll just, uh... I should actually make a junk corner. Uh, or I can leave it outside at the front of my house and slowly build up trash. I'll make a mountain of it. Oh, can I, not that? No, drop, drop this. There we go. It'll sit right there. That's my junk spot. How you doing, boys? Nice. You're mines. All of you are mines. I didn't know I could just go on the beach and get my own food like that. But then again, I picked up some frogs, so. Where? Like, you, you figured it'd mark it. Considering that I'm not the brightest of bulbs. In some scenarios. I should have paid attention more. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Alright, have you acquired a taste for the more pungent foods of the countryside? It's like the more I talk to them, the more they go, Oh, hey, you're a pretty cool dude. I know, I know. Uh, guilty as charged, I know. I try my best. <sighs> a girl can dream. I don't care about your mopey stories right now. You know, I'm just here to find some sweets. Maybe... Yeah, maybe I should do that. That makes more sense. I should go back up the mountain, go to Wanyan, and then he'll actually tell me something I guess although then again I could be wrong midnight dark beer there's beer really let's go in here then. how you doing I don't I don't even know what that's supposed to be it just flew inside the school though so <laughs> may God have mercy on their souls for whatever <laughs> third world demon just flew inside that building just a mess with them uh so yeah, let's go up here I swear, I can catch a bird. I just... I haven't tried hard enough. I guarantee you I can. I got some beer. That's... That's sweet to some people. What's the zoom out for? Yes, I get it. I, I saw it before. I'm wondering why we're doing the zoom out. Again. Okay, well. I guess you're just repeating it, huh? This is... Well... Used to be a bathhouse for spirits. They would come from far and wide to enjoy the purifying waters of the mountain. Spiritual people such as yourself used to look at the, the spirits and run the bathhouse. But it's not all for charity. The spirits would in turn offer some of the wealth they received from their shrines throughout the world. But as you can see, the bathhouse has been abandoned. The last bathhouse keeper was a spunky girl. In fact, she used to live in a house you've just moved into. Though, I don't know how long she's been gone. Cool. And that's just a nice little refresher for everybody else. Uh, boom, boom, next keeper. Uh, I already know the response to that one. I said, why me? He said, oh, well, actually, he said something different this time. Because I said, well, obviously, but still. Are you sure you're, you know, all there in the head? You space out an awful lot. Uh, you don't give me much choice in responses, so I don't really have say in the matter so you're in then good glad we're all on the same team then if we're meaning to get this place up and running we'll need to first open her up if i'm not mistaken i left the key with a spirit who has a fondness for sweets find the spirit and we'll find the key though whether or not you'll be able to see the spirits is questionable but we can deal with that later for now let's head to a place with a lot of sweet foods you know what i'm thinking it is i gotta get tea i don't have money for that uh, 
economy. Am I right? Uh, dear God, dude, I gotta. Mm. I wish I would have saved some the blooms for myself, but I see that we did not have the foresight to think of that. <sighs> Somewhere that has a lot of sweets. Assuming that my lovely spirit sense could keep going. Oh, can I play chess? That'd be cool if I did. Nobody? No? No, I'm just by myself. Don't worry. I, I make a good. I make a good opponent. Mm, good move, good move, sir. Oh, oh, <laughs> you've done an even better move. I see you moved your queen to d4. Magnificent. I moved my knight to e5. Whatever. Uh, let's see. My best bet is to head to the house after I hit up that market because it says go somewhere. So now that it properly functioned as it should and showed me the shrine, yup. Okay, so that makes sense. Like, dude, why, why, why do I have to? That's concerning because I'll end up at a spot where it's like, what's going on? Why am I stuck? And then I have to remember what I've done, which is basically go back. Yeah, well, I should have just said, I basically just backpedal and retrace my steps, yeah. Anywho, hmm, this place looks promising. Try using your spirit vision now. Uh, cool. My spirit vision. I hit the wrong button, ironically enough. Hey, not bad, mortal. You seem to be figuring it out pretty quickly. Yeah. <laughs> now then, <laughs> now then. Let's find the spear. Right over here. How's it going, boys? No, no, that one. I haven't tried the one with the caramel yet. Oh, that one is so good. Hey, check out this mortal. They almost look like they're watching. I knew I'd be able to find you if I thought with my stomach like you always do. It's the fuzz. Let's cheese it. Oh, that's cool. What in the world? Don't just stand there, catch them! I use what little power I have to help you keep your spirit vision active so you can see them. Normally, using spirit vision causes your spirit gauge on the right to gradually decrease. However, in this case, Wanyan is helping you by preventing the gauge from depleting. Under normal circumstances, drinking spirit tea, tea made in the old teapot, and sleeping will replenish the spirit gauge. Why, thank you. If you don't come on, why? <laughs> Alright, well then, I see you're gonna follow me. I'm on my way! What does it look like to other people? Uh, the spirit is super quick. Try running. Yeah, I already... I was doing that. Why'd you sit there and interrupt me for that? Look, I done lost them because of you. Oh, there they are. How you Hey, how's it going, boys? Wow. What an amazing chase. Get back here. They're, they're kind of fast, though, so, uh, concern. Unless they're gonna go into the building. So I gotta cut them off. When it comes to racing, I'm one of a kind. Let's do this. Are they gonna go to the shrine accidentally? I feel like that's what they're gonna do. Don't you dab taunt me? Now I was trying to think of what to say. <laughs> uh, in response, move. In response to the little emote they did. I'm a little bit, little bit closer. I'm almost there. What are you doing, you lunatics? We just want to talk to you. Oh my gosh. Can I grab them now? You better hope we don't catch you now. You've gone and ticked me off. Can I? What? What's the point of this? They just slowed down immediately. I can walk now. Whatever. Fun time's over, clown car. Revert back now. What the hell is wrong with you two? Wh who? Wanyan? And which one of you peanut brains has the key to the bathhouse? Key. The key. I remember. Wanyan and a, a key. One of you better start talking. I think I'm just joking. They look adorable. I have the key. I remember now. I'm called Fodorog, and, and I, 
I was known as Aram. Wanyan, oh, I'm so sorry. I failed you, my lord. Seems I forgot who I was. But I never forgot your task for me. I've kept the key safe all of these years. Here, you must be the new keeper of the bath. You got the bathhouse key. What? Why are you holding it up like that? Can everyone act normal for just a moment, please? As for you two, this mortal here is named Bava, correct? Has agreed to get the bathhouse up and running again. I expect to see much of you and your kind there regularly. Yes, of course, Wanyon, sir. We'll be there. With friends? With friends, of course. Gods be damned. Those fools gave us the runaround, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> well, whenever you're ready, let's head to the bathhouse on the mountain and see what condition she's in. I get to clean out the bathhouse now. <laughs> let's go and get down to our janitorial duties. Come on now, don't dilly dally. I feel like I can mess with this. Okay, I saw you. Yeah, I can. Your mind's now. Can I? Can I just take this inside my house? I just walk in the yard, snatch something. They won't know the difference. They left it out here when it was raining. Why would they? Why would you leave a perfectly fine decoration just chilling? What are you doing here? Oh, wrong thing. What are you? Drop this. What are you doing? My throat is so sore this morning. <coughs> I must have caught something or talked too much yesterday. Cool. What, what's the point of the favorability? Is it is it gonna come back to bite me later if I ignore it? Like, oh, you could have talked them down from doing whatever they're doing if you were well liked. Uh oh. <laughs> well, I'll be decorating the back. That's what I should do. This is uh. We we need more than a fix me up. We need a remodel. This place is atrocious. <sighs> ah yes. This brings back memories. You have no idea how important this place is, Baba. The spirits around here are in bad shape. You probably can't see most of them just yet, but believe me when I say they're up to no good. And, unfortunately, it's the townsfolk who are suffering for it. Right, so with these happy thoughts in mind, how about we start doing something about it? First things first, follow me. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was automatically moving. I, I like tapped the up button and I moved in like a little cutscene-esque type of vibe, you know? Anywho, uh, I'm gonna put this right here. Let's, no, I need I need the appropriate angle. Can I? Really? I gotta clean out the dust too? That's stupid. Okay, well, because it won't let me set it down right here. No, no. Why are we? Get out of here. That looks nice though. I'll, I'll, I'll visit that later. Put this down. Uh... You'll sit right here on the corner. I'll be sure to steal their decorations later. Anyhow. <laughs> Welcome to the bathhouse. It was built centuries ago and has served as a sanctuary for spirits ever since. One thing you've probably noticed is that you can see me without even using your spirit vision. It's not entirely known why spirits can be seen here, but it likely has something to do with the very rare tree that was planted in the courtyard of this structure. Over time, the tree grew to enormous proportions and has exerted its special properties upon the building. Anyway, enough of the history lesson. You're here to keep the bathhouse running smoothly and to guide our essentially... and to guide our essentially customers to their spots in the baths. Spares will pay you depending on their bathing experience, which can be affected by many things, including... Follow me. I feel like you could have put something in front of that to make it flow better for that follow me part, but whatever. How hot the bath is, is that what it is? Including, yep, yeah, including water temperature. This is the boiler for all of the baths in the room above us. You have to keep this thing burning so the baths can stay hot. Your source of fuel for this body is right here. Cut a chunk of this tree root for fuel. Hold A when facing the saw to cut. Oh, cool. 
So does it just, well, it's an obvious question. It's going to keep going, isn't it? Can I, do I have to, how long do I have to hold it? Okay. This place looks like it's coming down. And voila, the tree magically regrows. Oh, oh, it's actually regrowing in real time. That's cool. I thought the place was coming down. <laughs> you know, I, this place is a, is a walking OSHA violation. Anywho, and voila, the tree magically regrows its root. I'm sure the tree doesn't like you doing this, but bathhouse keepers have cut this same root over and over for centuries, and this is just a hunch, but it seems like the tree is doing just fine. <laughs> Yum. I don't know how you would do that with that. Wh whatever, I'll try my best. I physically cannot say that. <laughs> like, you know how you get certain words where it's like you try and say it and you just know? That you, you can't say it, basically. Like, Ugh. Nyan. Wow. That is, um. That is something. Nothing. Nothing to note is that. No. Like, I can't. I keep pronouncing the. NY part. Oh, my. Instead of just a one. Whatever. Uh. One thing to note is that this root's ability to regrow depends on the spiritual presence of this whole area. What I mean is, the more spirits we track down and smack sense into, the more healthy the spirit tree becomes, which means more roots regrowing, and therefore, more mulags. If you don't see the root regrowing, then you'll probably have to wait. I'm sure it'll be growing again after you slept or something, and that's what's, that's how it's gonna explain side quests and stuff, basically, where it's like, oh hey, go do a side quest, have a little bit of fun. La di da, you know, just chill. Like I can say this one, it's just the one. When it's like one thing to note, I for some reason when you put the N Y in front, I cannot pronounce that. I get that it's in the cat tone, but come on now. And there's a jet flying over, a jet plane. What I don't even know what those things are. It, it, they just fly over so often, just so randomly too. It's like wow, yes, really. Now of all times, when you have all day, when it was just perfectly quiet, but the second I decide to do something that requires, you know, just me, myself, and I, and, you know, the, a little bit of the game stuff, now you want to fly over, you know? It, it's, it's one of those things, you know, that just happens randomly. Uh, anyway, like, look, I can, even though it doesn't sound proper, I still said it pretty good. Anyway... Throw that log in one more into the boiler, and then come meet me upstairs. Well, you got it, boss. I'm right on it. Oh, another log. Oh, well, I immediately ignored his instructions. I tell you. It popped into my mind for a second, and then I immediately forgot about it. Such a shame. Look at this magical tree. It's beautiful. You know what would have been even more cool? If I could just sit here and then get crushed by it, you know? Like, if this game was just... Even though with all its cutesy art and stuff, I guess you could say. It just has, like, extremely over-the-top gore and stuff. Good work. I'm glad to see you can follow simple instructions. With your worth ethic and my brains, we can have this place running in no time. And making lots and lots of moolah. <laughs> anyway, you see this shrine here. It shows you the bath temperatures. If you see the temperature dropping, then you better head to the boiler and load it up some more. Good. Now it's almost time to ring the bell and let the spirits in. But first, we need to make sure we've got some clean towels to let the spirits use. They're spirits. Why do they need towels? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I, he's asking the same question. Uh, whatever. It, make, it makes sense. Makes complete sense. Precisely. I'm glad to see you're starting to grasp how this all works. I guess it's the feel of the place, so to speak. Yeah, I, I guess it's that, yeah. It's like you wouldn't go... Well, what, what's a good comparison? Uh, like, you wouldn't... Ah, I don't have a good compare. Really? I'm trying to think of something that lines up with that, but I can't... For the life of me, I just can't think of it. Anyway, come on. Let's see if there are any towels still. If we're lucky, they won't be too moldy. 
It, it's like, okay, so th this is like the most wild, random thought for a comparison, but it's like eating a dry Popeye's biscuit. You're gonna want water next to it. You, you, you can't just not have water. Only a special few can pull that off. And luckily, I am one of those special few. And it is wonderful, I tell you. Being able to just see everybody else cower in fear as I devour not one, not two, but three whole biscuits with no bed. Just fine. <laughs> Anywho, come on. Let's see if there are any towels still. If we're lucky, they won't be too moldy. Look at my invite, whatever. Well, I gotta clean up this whole place. It's gonna look amazing when I'm done with it. It's moldy, I can tell. There's nothing but spider webs. Now it's not the time. What do you think? I'm trying to grab a towel! Whatever. Check that towel box for dirty towels. When spirits are done with their baths, they will leave their towels in the box on their way out of the door. As you might have guessed, use a- What do you think I just did? Okay, wow. Whoa. <laughs> I'm owning a lot of towels. Hmm. <laughs> well then. Good. There are some towels left. Good. There are some towels left. Let's go get them cleaned up. This way. Look at this. That's cool. I can set this down too. Nice. And run with it. I mean, that's, that's mighty bold of you. I, I was trying to say brave. Ended up with bold. Whatever. That's mighty bold of you. Uh, throw it in here. Yes. No. Maybe here. No. Here. No. I gotta talk to you. How you doing, buddy? Let me. Welcome to the washing uh, kitchen. Hmm. I suppose we never did come up with a name for it. Let's just call it the prep room. As you can see, things here have also become quite overgrown and unusable. Fortunately, that's not the case for the wash tub and heating vents. Try to use towels into the wash tub and give them a good scrub by holding down A. Keep washing until you've cleaned at least four of them. Yes. What lovely, lovely towels. I am scrubbing them clean of all the dirt and grass. I... They're not... They're not pulling any punches with these words, I tell you. Next! Ugh. Hmm. I think this is another one I can't really say. <clears throat> Next! Ugh! <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> now, take those wet towels and start hanging them over the heating vent. Remember, towels will only dry if you got warm air flowing through the vent. If you're not burning any wood in a boiler, then the towels won't dry. Yet another reason to keep the boiler topped up. Oh, I'm gonna keep going. Cool. I might as well just finish off the whole stack. Good stuff. The towels will take some time to dry, so it's important to be as efficient as possible. There are always things you can be doing while running the bathhouse. Keeping the boiler hot, cleaning towels, cooking for spirits. When well, you've hired someone to clean this area up, scrubbing spirits with a brush. All of these things will affect the spirit's happiness, and therefore affect how many moolahs they will leave you in things. Piece of cake, right? Uh, I guess, yeah. Right! You got it, boss! You're a lively one! I can almost smell the moolahs now. Right. Let's bring these... Wow. Let's bring those dry towels to the bathhouse engines. You know what's funny? And the only reason why I said wow is because I saw it was those. And then... I, I don't know. It, it is what it is. I mean... Okay. Let's bring those bath towels. I mean you. You bring the towels. Well. Mm. Oh. I lost the... I, I lost the heat. Well then. Four nicely fresh towels. Well, nicely freshened towels, that is. Uh, I lost heat. Can I? I need to restore the heat. Where the wine yonder? And why'd you go all the way down here, dude? Are they dry? No visible mold? Perfect. Drop them over on this green bamboo mat. This is kind of dirty, though, dude. That's... All right, cool. Well, bye. <laughs> it didn't account for me pressing A again so fast. When spirits visit the bathhouse, they will automatically grab a towel from this bamboo towel zone. Make sure you do your best to always have some fresh towels for the spirits to use. 
All right, I think we're ready. Ring this bell to open the bathhouse up to spirits. Let me hold up. I need to restore the fuel. They, they, they would. I don't want to piss off my customers. Well, then I immediately went out the door. I don't like that. Like, you know how some games where it's, you go down into a door and then it changes the angle and you're still holding the same position so you end up running back to the door? I don't like that. One more. Yes, yes. Well, we're going to be rich in Moologs now. Just give me one more treat. Good stuff. I wish I could put like a little boombox in this area. Get some music just chilling while I'm cutting away. Because I can build a pile too. Oh, whoa, hold up. I can build a pile too, yeah. Just be like that. Because you said it doesn't grow, but I can make a pile. That would make so much sense too. You just have a boombox just sitting there working. Mmm, that'd be nice. That'd be real nice, anyway. Look, and then I can just leave this here. Have fun. I'll get to that later. Anywho. Alright, well, bathhouse is sorted out. Let's go ahead and get my first few lovely customers. Open a bathhouse and allow spirits to enter. Yes. Well, then they're already corrupt. How about that? Oh, that's them. Why are they already corrupt again? Didn't they just remember who they were? Whatever. Right on time. You got your first guess. Take the towel from them and lead them to our only bath that is currently ready. One thing to keep in mind, if you ever don't want to want to see the particular spirit, you can always bring the towel back to the entrance. The spirit will leave on their own. I don't recommend doing this often though. Not if you want to make moologs anyway. But there will be times when the spirit is too large for your baths or might ruin the bathing experience you've created. In these cases, just get them the boot, and they'll come back later. Anyway, grab this spirit's towel and seat them in the bath. Chop chop. Good stuff, dude. Right over here. You wanted to sit here, sir. This is lovely bath. And that's just about all there is to it. You can tell the spirit's mood when standing near him. A happy face means their happiness is improving, whereas an angry face means their happiness is on a decline. Once you've seated a spirit in a bath, they're in there for the duration of their stay. This means if you place a spirit next to a spirit they dislike, then you won't be res- Okay, so understandably they just want to be spaced out. Understandably, they just want to be spaced out. If you place a spirit next to a spirit they dislike, then you won't be making as much money as you could be. You can remedy this by making an extra effort to improve that spirit's mood. Back scrubbing, giving food, adding elixirs to the water, or if you're busy, you can just accept the blunder and move on. The most important thing to know about running a spirit bathhouse is this. Spirits all belong to a particular season. Spirits enjoy setting their spirits from the season after theirs. Hmm. Well, I gotta, I gotta actually dedicate that to memory. Just, just on the off chance that, you know, big issues happen because I go, Oh, whatever. I don't need this. <laughs> I need it. Anywho. Uh, season after there, so spring, it'll be fall, and then fall will be winter. I get the dish. I don't, I don't even know what he's supposed to be. On the other hand, spirits dislike sitting near spirits whose season is opposite their own. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused too. <laughs> confused? Uh, you would be. Uh, wow, I just read that so wrong. Confused? Ugh, you would be. Must have a peanut for a brain. Okay, how about this? If I recall correctly, the two spirits we chased around town were spring. Well, the two spirits we chased around town were spring and fall spirits. So you probably don't want to sit them near it. You just said... I, 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 don't sit them near each other, even though they're buddies for some... I guess they just hate being near each other whenever it comes to just relaxing, but when it comes to just stealing stuff out of a store, by all means, partners in grind. Figuring out what spe which spirits belong to which season will take a bit of trial and error. Oh wait, you might be able to consult the old spirit information tomes, but those have likely been buried for centuries. There's one other thing, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you should mention. Come here for a second. 
What else is it, Wanya? Don't you try and throw out my Tanaki statue. I'm taking that. I noticed it when when the previous bathhouse keeper was taking care of the place. The ancient tree that grew out of the courtyard of this bath out this Wow. This just wow. The ancient tree that grew out of the courtyard of this bathhouse seems to react to how pleased the spirits are when they leave after their bath. I've seen this tree root grow as mu as more and more spirits leave after having a fulfilling bath. It's possible something important might happen when a root grows to a certain length. Yeah, I don't know. I us I'm usually more focused on how much money the spirits leave us. Okay, I'll leave you to figure out things on your own. Ring the bell again if you want to close the bathhouse. Spirits will still pay you, but not as much. Oh, well, spirits will still pay you, but not as much as if you let them enjoy their whole bath on the stair. If you're tired, you can always go home and sleep, which saves the game, whatever that means. Oh, and don't forget to collect your earnings from the money pot by the front entrance when you're done working. Wouldn't the townspeople question why I have all that money, though? You're out of the, like, you don't even look like Paul. Whatever. And who are you? Okay, dude. There's a lot of... You guys can sit next to each other. Yes? Yep. Yes? Good stuff. Uh, hold up. I gotta clean out some more. Well, actually, no. I do have clean towels. Now I think about it. Hold on. I'm going to go to the prep room in order to prepare for my esteemed guests. Oh, I lost the heat. Okay, well... Yeah, God, dude. Look, and now he's pissed. I can see the frown from here. No, you're just frowning normally. Why? Whatever. Here. I gotta hurry. I need to hire some employees. This is... This is something else, I tell you. Alright, let go for this. Yeah, then I can have a woodcutter in here. Oh, look at that. I'm getting the business off the ground, you know? I'm a young entrepreneur. Learning the ropes. Figuring things out one step at a time. Look at him. You guys are chilling. He's happy because he's opening his mouth. Are you guys hating it? Nope, you're happy too. Good stuff. I imagine a winter spirit would want a cold bath, wouldn't it? I don't know. The whole point is I need to keep them separate, apparently. What a lovely day running the bath. Look at him. So full of joy. Their life is amazing. How many friends do you guys have? That that irks me that I can't reach this inner part like that, but whatever. And he's chilling over there. Uh oh, that's their duration. Okay. Well, he'll be out soon. I need to cut probably another piece of wood. Then I need to take the towels. I gotta keep track of them. When I get employees, I tell you, I will be working them to the boat. Until then, I will become the best guest. Well, not the best guest. Uh, well, I'll become the best customer experience associate possible. You shall be uh, squirming in delight. There we go. I found the words. Squirming in delight, overjoyed at my skills. All right, now. Can I grab my towels, please? Yeah, I just want my towels. Whatever. I guess I'll come back to that. Like, right now. <laughs> really? You won't let me grab them? That's wild. Alright, guys. You wanna get out my bath? Or what? You're still here. I need you gone. Get out my bath. I need space. And you guys are taking it up. I'll bring the dirty towels here. Yeah, whatever. Look at them just waiting. Where's my bath at? Well, get out. You stayed long enough. Hand me my money now. You guys are chilling. Mm -hmm. I need to put one more. Yep, I knew it. I'm about to run out. Look at them. It's a natural. I didn't play all the Papa's pizzerias and burgerias and whatever it is, or nothing. I can put those two there. They're chilling. That guy just left. Thank God. Towels just magically fold themselves. That's cool. 
because then that means, oh, look, you're done. You're, you look like you're disappointed. <laughs> Whatever. Good stuff. Oh, hold on. I'll get you there in a second. They look happy, though. Look, and then I have somebody just washing this thing. Because I'll be darned if I have to keep washing this by hand over and over again. Put you two there. They're chilling. Let's go ahead and sit you guys down. Yeah, Jess. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. What a lovely time, isn't it? Oh, well, you can sit right next to your buddy right here. Look at that. Everybody's all friends. Got the money jar filling up. Nice, nice. Then I can finally buy myself some lovely food. I don't even got to look at it. I can just turn. Okay, well, as long as I'm within a tile next to it. Although it is getting dark now. Well then, it's almost time to close up shop. Don't you think? Yeah. Uh, I'll do one more sit down. Seems like they, I, it, they look so weird. Like it looks like they aren't enjoying it, but they they are. Then they're done, and they just hop out. Hmm. Why? Thank you. Uh, sorry, sir, but you will not be getting a bath today. Everybody else needs to get out though. Look at that. They're just chilling. So all all it wants me to do is just group them next to each other. That that's all it wants to do. I don't get why it went the complicated route. So it's all different seasons and blah blah blah. You just tell me that they only like <laughs> they only like their kind. <laughs> um, oh, let's see. You guys done yet? I'm gonna just go ahead and close up shop. We're done here. Yep, get out. Ooh, why I love it. That's a lot. Jesus. That's good stuff. Let me go ahead and prep for the next day. You really put my towel on the ground. This is why you can't let people into a business and tell them you got it. Because they don't respect you after that. They just go, oh, well, he's clearly my servant. No. No, no, no. I'm helping out to be nice. Okay. I don't have to help. Alright, well. Come back over here. Uh, you savages! How dare you leave my towels on the ground? Oh my gosh. Not a care in the world. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hire somebody for this. That, that'll piss me off. <laughs> yeah, we have a bin for towels. And then you guys go, oh, you're shutting, uh, you're shutting the doors early? Well, then I'm not gonna put my towel in the bin. No, not a disrespect. this and we're good to go well as always I appreciate it. hope you folks enjoyed and I shall catch you guys in the next one I gotta sort out the bathhouse a little bit that now that'll, that'll be a new project <laughs> not not well not necessarily new that'll be a a work in progress project so to speak I gotta make a collection of wood too. Well, anywho, as always, I appreciate. Hope you folks enjoyed. I shall catch you guys later.